Okay, so we're going to try, go out to the fast lane if you can. We're going to try to teach everybody today how to, when going on the 5 North to Disneyland, the quickest way, might not be the best way, but it might be the quickest way to get into Disneyland. Because once you get your kids all the way up here from San Diego, and then you spend another 20 minutes to half an hour getting into Disneyland, gets irritating for the children. So if you are more than two people, you could, and you're over there in the carpool lanes, you could get off there at Gene Autry Way and Disney Way. Okay, and over here is Catella and Disney Way. We suggest you do not get off at Catella and Disney Way. Catella is lights and you're on the south end of Disneyland. You will get parked in Toy Story parking structure, or parking lot, it's not even a structure, and then you will have to board a bus and then you will have to drive into Disneyland, get off at Disneyland, and walk into Disneyland. So we do not suggest you do that, but that is pretty much what everyone does. The next thing, and if you get off on Disney Way, Disney Way just drives you down to Harbor, where you have to turn right or left at Disneyland and go all the way around Disneyland, either around the left or the right side, to either get to the parking structure or back to Toy Story parking lot. So there's the Matterhorn and there's Disneyland. I don't know if you can see that. Um, next is Harbor Boulevard and Ball Road. You could get off here and you can go over the bridge that you see coming up here and you can go down into the parking structure. There's lots of lights, and the only reason we're not doing that is if you're early getting to Disneyland, the parking structure may be closed in this direction, and you will not get in. So we are now heading to the north side of Disneyland, which is just another mile or so, and you're going to want to get off at Lincoln. We're testing this in one mile. We're going to get off on Lincoln Avenue. And what the goal is, you can Google it, but the goal is, is to go past Disneyland and get off the freeway. We're going to try Lincoln for this video. And you want to get over the 5 freeway onto Manchester Road. Manchester heading south will have its own bridge. See these bridges right here? These are the bridges getting into Disneyland. If you happen to be coming in from Los Angeles, coming south on the 5, this is still quicker than all that traffic you're going to hit in Disneyland. Because this road on this bridge, and I don't know if you can see that light over there, that's Manchester Road. I don't know if you can see the the sign for that, but we're going to get off right here and we're going to go over this bridge right here coming up and we're going to turn left and then left again onto Manchester and you're going to see how easy it is to get right into the parking structure. Why the parking structure is good is because you come down, you hit security there, you get on a tram and it takes you right to the front of Disneyland. So even though this may seem, oh, it just rained here a little bit. Yeah. Even though this may seem a little bit longer in driving distance for you coming up from San Diego, this will probably save you, what do you think, 15 minutes, 20 minutes? In the long run. Until you're actually inside Disneyland. Yep. Because whenever we've taken children to Disneyland, and they start saying, when are we there yet? And then you show them that Matterhorn on the freeway and we're at Disneyland. And it takes you another half an hour or so to get into Disneyland. That is frustrating sometimes. Okay, so now we've turned left and we're on Manchester. And now we're actually coming into Disneyland from the north side. And it's actually sprinkling today. Mm -hmm. As the day goes on, the weather's supposed to get better. So now we're going through Broadway. 
and we're on Manchester South. Because if you get off at Catella Road, like most people do, you have all those lights. You get down to where all the hotels are. And you have to t go down to Disney, uh, downtown Disney Way, not Disney yeah. Way, through Harbor Intersection. Harbor Intersection alone can take five or so minutes of time um, with traffic and lights. Good catch. Um, Ball Road, if you come up north and go to Ball Road, that will be good also. Um, if you know you're not there at opening, the Disneyland parking structure that way will usually open by 10, 30, 11 o'clock in the morning. So if you're there before that and you do that, the parking structure will be closed and you will drive another 10 minutes of traffic to get down to where they push you to park. So as you can see this way here that we have been driving down, you're going to see we have our own road here to the left, this own bridge right here. And we're going to go right into the structure. And we always suggest staying to the right, by the way. And you can see this video has only been a few minutes long. And I filmed all, I started filming all the way down at the 22 freeway uh, coming north. And this road down here are the people coming in from Ball, which is open right now, but it might not have been. And now you can see we're in the parking structure. She didn't want to go to the right. Because this looked so good. And it's right all here. open anyways. We're on a very slow day. But this, that is how you get into Disneyland. Yay. Just like this. All right, I turn off the camera. I gotta have a parking pass. And we pull right up. And even though we came down, yeah, we didn't have any waiting. That was very quick today. Good morning. How are you? Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Oops, I apologize. I thought I had it. I don't know.